and welcome to a technology software tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be teaching you how you can use the AMD game GVR that is built into Raptor as a stream recorder. So to do this you have to first go get onto your desktop, hopefully it isn't quite as messy as mine, and then you go to this arrow down here, the show hidden items icon, and then you select the AMD Gaming Evolved. You double click on that and open it up. As you might be able to see, it is integrated with Plays.tv Beta, which allows you to highlight clips and session record. But we don't want that. What we want is what the old game GVR version included last year. Because they've ch completely changed the UI, and I thought they'd removed the software until I found this. So what you have to do is you get onto here, and then you go down to the settings icon. You click on that. This is the general stuff. You can select your quality, so I've got it to record 720p 60 frames per second, which is the max maximum I have known YouTube to actually support. And then you have to go down to hotkeys, and then it's got stuff about in-game overlay, display frames per second if you wanted to do that. And then you can this is the bit you want, recording, and then you want the start, stop, manual recording option. And then by default it's control then the colon button. But then I've changed it to control plus S, which you can do because that's just like normal stream recorders. Then that's all you need to do. Then you click OK. And then if you click for X up here, then open up a game, say Minecraft. And then load this up. And then we'll wait for it to load. And then we can load up Minecraft. And then you may notice something that does not appear by default. Well, at least it didn't appear for me by default. So we'll just wait for Minecraft to load here. And then it should load now. And then if we just put this to full screen so it's easier for you guys to see. And then I go on to multiplayer. And as you can see, it's already cut with an option up here that says Start, then Control S, and then there's the Save Highlight thing. So now, if I were to go to um, uh, everything is going mad at me, there we go, Craftadia, and then open this up, and then I, and this is a server I actually have donated ranks on. If I go to Eco PvP, for example. So if I wanted to record my epic PvP, all I'd have to do is I just have to press Control S, and then as you will see, it will process, and now it has started recording. So you just record your video like normal. Blah 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 blah. blah. Hello and welcome to blah 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 blah. blah. Whatever your video is going to be, and by the way, this only works for gaming videos. For desktop videos like like this tutorial, I'm using something different. And the good thing about this is. It doesn't actually give you a frames per second decrease. The only reason I'm guessing one is because I'm actually running a desktop stream recorder, which is the conventional way outside of Minecraft. So I'm just going to test, see if I am okay, still okay at PvP. And then that will be about the end of this video. So this is a really useful stream recorder if you have a AMD um, graphics card, which with the VCE something codec engine or something like that which is really helpful if you want to record videos and you don't have the strongest CPU like me. So let's see if I can get this guy. Um, and he's there. I am really bad at PvP by the way. Well, I'm not really bad, but I am not that great. There we go. See, I even managed it as a kill whilst lagging. Not bad going for me. So thank you for this video. Then to just stop recording, you just press Control S again. And then if you go to your videos folder and click on the plays.tv, no not plays.tv, AMD Raptor, then it will load it there. So let's see if, let's see if I can get this person. Whoa. Whoa! So thank you for watching this episode. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to share this video with your friends. If they have a AMD graphics card, as this can help a lot with YouTube. So in fact, once again, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share. 
and leave a comment down below if you have any questions whatsoever as I will try my best to answer it with my knowledge and in relative time. So thanks for watching this video and have a great day. Bye.